Today, we build the Maker's Muse Rollo Triangle Bearing. So awesome. Now, before we go any further in this video, you need to stop what you're doing and go watch Angus and his video on how he designed and built this model in the first place. You can check it out here. I'll wait. Go on, go watch it. Are we good? Okay. While Angus was building this design, he was trying to show objects of constant width and how things that aren't spherical can still roll like they were. Really, I thought it was just a really cool design and something awesome to watch work. So why not build one? So today I'm going to show you how to get your motor installed, put some code on your Arduino board, get this thing all set up, and built. Now the STL files for this build are not free. You do have to support Angus for $5 or more over on Patreon to get access to them. But I can tell you, it's well worth it. The Maker's Muse channel is awesome. Angus is a great designer and engineer and one of my favorite content creators here on YouTube. All of his information will be in the description below, as well as the electronics I use for this build. But with all that said, let's get to it. Here's all the printed parts you'll need. You'll need the large bearing ring, the bearing cap with the cool Maker's Muse logo on it, a standalone threaded nut, three of the triangle rollers, a roller support ring, a small gear, the bearing stand, and three of these rubber inserts that will go around the triangle roller. The rubber inserts were printed in Inland TPE, the rollers were printed in AIO Robotics Red, the white parts were printed in Polymaker Transparent PETG, the support ring is Inland PLA Black, and the stand and the gear are Inland PLA Silver. Here's all the non-printed parts you'll need. You'll need some sort of Arduino, it doesn't really matter which one, to control the logic of this stepper motor. You'll need three M6 by 12 millimeter screws. It'll probably be useful to have an M6 tap to set these screws in the PLA plastic. You'll need a USB cable for your Arduino, some jumper wires, a stepper motor. This is a 288YJ48 and it comes with its own stepper driver board. Link in the description. And some sort of power supply. It has to be over 5 volts. You can get by with powering this setup off your Arduino board, but I probably wouldn't want to do it very long. It is under 400 milliamps, so you can drive this motor, but probably not the best idea. You could probably use a cell phone charger or just about any other DC power adapter to power this whole rig. So I'm going to start by tapping all the center holes for the M6 screw and all the triangle rollers. All the holes are tapped and the screws do fit. Remember when you're working with metal tools and PLA parts, just go really slow and let your tools cool off or you're just going to melt the part rather than threading it. You can go ahead and back these screws out for now. So these little stepper motors with the driver board included makes life so much easier and they're less than $2 for the set. You don't have to go figure out how to get a driver to work with your Arduino board. So we can just plug the motor into the stepper board. Then we can hook up our Arduino board. We're going to use digital pins 8, 9, 10, and 11. So we've got jumpers hooked up to 8, 9, 10, and 11. The number 8 pin will go to the IN1 pin on the stepper driver. The 9 pin will go to the IN2 pin on the stepper driver. 10 pin goes to IN3. And 11 pin goes to IN4. For this test, we're just going to use the power that the Arduino board provides via USB or this DC input. Again, that's probably not the best solution going forward. You need to find another way to power it that has a lot more power than this board can put out. But for the test, it does work just fine. So we'll cable up the ground pin on the Arduino, over to the negative power in pin on the stepper board, and the 5 volt pin on the Arduino over the positive power in pin on the stepper board. And those are all the wire connections that you need to make to get this to work. Now let's cable up the Arduino via USB and get some code loaded on it. So we're going to open up the Arduino IDE and we're going to create a brand new sketch. We'll go to new and we'll just write the code we need from scratch. So we can get rid of all this for now. The first thing we need to do is include the stepper library that Arduino already provides. So pound include stepper.h. The stepper motor that we're using 
One full revolution is 2,038 steps. So we're going to define the total steps for this motor. So we'll do pound define steps 2,038. Now we'll define the motor. We'll do stepper, named stepper, and then steps. Then the coils on the stepper will be configured with digital pin 8, then digital pin 10, digital pin 9, and then pin 11. This will configure the stepper wires correctly. We still do need to have a void set up, even though there's not going to be anything in it. And then we'll build our loop, void loop, stepper dot set speed. Let's do 15 RPM, and then stepper dot step. And how many steps do you need to take to make one revolution? And that was 2038. Make sure your curly brackets down there, and this is all the code that we need to get this motor to turn in one direction. If you wanted to flip the direction, all you'd have to do is set steps to negative 2038. But this code's done for now. You can go ahead and run a verify. You do have to save it. We'll just call it steps. Compile looks good. Make sure your Arduino board's plugged in. Go to tools. Pick the board you have. In this case, we are going to be using the Uno. Pick the port you're on. We are on COM11, and then hit upload. The upload's complete, and your motor should now already be turning. Just by being plugged in and powered from the USB cable, the motor's turning, and the stepper driver lights are on. If you want to increase the speed, you can go back and edit the code if you like. I'm going to leave this one here for now. So all the electronics we need for this device are good to go. So we'll turn our motor off for now. We can put our TPE rings around our triangle rollers. Rubber rings on. You can set your main outer ring over your triangle rollers. Then attach your triangle rollers onto the support ring with your M6 screws. Don't tighten them. These actually have to move up and down inside this support ring. Now you could just assemble it with your bearing cap and your standalone nut with this in the center and this on the back. So like this, we could just spin it by hand, but we don't want to do that. We want to motorize it. So we'll take this apart. So we'll take our stand and we'll mount our stepper motor. It goes through the stand. It'll mount like this, and I forgot to put them in the BOM, but you can mount it with some M3 by 6 millimeter screws. These will thread right into the plastic part. Motor is mounted. Now we can slide our gear on the shaft. The gear is on, now we can slide our whole assembly on top of the stand. The assembly's on the stand, now we can finish it off by putting on our cool Maker's Muse cap. And now it's complete. Let's plug it in and take it for a spin. And it works. Look at it spin. So now that it's done, everyone go check out Angus on Patreon and get your own STL files so you can build your very own Reload Triangle Bearing. A big thanks to Angus for this project and all the content that he creates on YouTube. It is very much appreciated. All of his information will be in the description below. If you liked this video or found it helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing to my channel. If not, leave your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. I wonder how fast this can go.